Howdy howdy ladies and gents, welcome back to the stream. My name is Bandit and today we're playing some Breath of the Wild, which I'm sure is no surprise to any of you. Monk, it is wonderful to see you as always. Hi, how are you? My dinner just got here right, right after I clicked go live, so. Meeting. Mr. Bandit says hi, Monk. I'm good, how are you? I'm alright. I have work in the morning, so I'm like, me. What did we get? We got Wingstop. <laughs> he says hi, Frog. You know, Wingstop's one of our favorites. One of our go-tos. It's one of my favorites, at least. I love their french fries. They're delicious. It is a good one. It really is. Especially for, like, or just like Friday night dinner, you know? It's awesome. And I apologize about being late. You, you could probably tell my hair is wet. Maybe you can't tell, but yeah. We have just wings here that is that are really good, but they haven't figured out what hot is. Give them some time. <laughs> They'll figure it out. Anyway, here's what I came home. We talked for a little bit. I got frazzled by a TikTok of Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil 4. Um and then I needed to take a shower. I won't have time in the morning because I have to go to work, so... Shower tonight. They're hot as barely a medium. Ew. Why even try? Bubba! Do you hear that? Oh, it's a rod of the power of ice. No, we're doing... Shrine... We're doing more shrine hunting. Um, and I know there is one in this area somewhere. I can't remember if I have the request for it. I do not. Shit. Okay, fuck. Um. I'm gonna find that little Korok. They're around here somewhere. I know it. Who's calling my name? If you need to know anything about these witches, ask Maka. I don't have any. Mr. Hero. It took you so long. He thought of a trial that will make Mr. Hero stronger. You won't have to fight, and it's not scary. But you'll need to be extra careful, so I want to see a bloopy. It's a blue, glowy, hoppy thing that glows in the dark. I just really want to see it. <laughs> I knew you were a nice guy, Mr. Hero. Thanks for listening to Peek's request. Do I have a picture of the movie already? Have I taken a pic- I haven't taken a picture of one yet? Why? I think 
either way, that's still not a shrine quest, or at least it's not the shrine quest um, that I want. Rocks around here somewhere. It's already got you. Hmm. Oh, fuck, how do I trigger this shit? I forgot. Oh, wait, did I even? Yeah, I did. Okay. I, I couldn't remember if I even did that shrine to begin with. Maybe it's this way? Maybe I'm misremembering and it's a different, like, I'm pretty sure it's that way. I know there is one up here too, is there not? Are you ready? Told you'd be I was told you'd be coming. But do you really think you're ready for the test of wood? Some say it's the hardest core oh This is the one where you got like wood everything. good though but I don't need to um, as far as that's concerned okay I thought that was gonna be a lot quicker than it actually was it's right over here everyone how are we doing tonight unicorn hi how are you Can I? Oh shit, I could have expanded my stash. I'm an idiot. There we go. things all week and my trainer kicked my butt yesterday. I'm sorry. Good on you getting your stuff built though. You know trainer isn't like a personal trainer for like working out and stuff. So that's cool too. We just got our gym memberships back. I don't know when I'm gonna go again. Actually, I'll probably go on Sunday. Probably go on Sunday before I stream. personal trainer that's good. He has his own area for workouts. Awesome. I wish I had personal trainer money. But thankfully there are a lot of really helpful apps and stuff like that that are that are perfect for you know when you want to start working out. There's one in particular both of my husband and I have. Where you mark, like, what equipment you have available to you. Um, what kind of workouts you're going, you're, you know, working on. Like, what, are, what, are, what goals are you trying to accomplish. Fuck. Fuck you, bitch. I ain't fighting you like this. Ah! 
I'm just gonna keep running. Yeah, apps don't... I need the person to say, Hey, what's up? I haven't seen you in a bit. Right? I know. The apps are good and all, but they, they do not keep you accountable. That is correct. That is the one thing that, like, is super hard to... Fuck! Oh, I know someone redeemed something! Hold on! Shit! Ooh, ooh, that was almost bad. That was almost really bad. Stop throwing rocks at me! You're fired! That's illegal! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Ooh! Beast, my child! Ace! Ace, my love! How are you this evening? I used to teach aerobics, so I know what I should do. I just need the motivation. See, and my Mr. Bandit has, like, so much knowledge when it comes to, like, eating the right things, what kind of workouts target what area, what areas you should target in order to get the results that you want. Like, he's got all the knowledge. Executing it is a totally different thing. <laughs> and that, that goes for both of us, because, like, my proxy, now I have some of this knowledge as well, too, right? But I am just as bad. You hunger for violence? I hunger for these damn french fries. <laughs> All my shit was wood! Ace, what hat do you want? Shall I go over the options? You want the cowboy hat? Are we doing the cowboy hat? We haven't done the hat in a while. Is that what you want, Ace? Absolutely. Cowboy time. All right, give me a sec. Howdy, ma'am and or sir. Wait, wait, wait. Howdy. <laughs> I can't help but do every time I wear this stupid hat, I'm always like, some <laughs> I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> Someone poisoned the water hole. Ace, I love you. Oh my god. That's so good. You know, one year actually, my dad for Halloween. He got a shark costume and a cowboy hat. And he was that... He kept running around going, I'm Woody, howdy, howdy, howdy the whole night. Like, <laughs> oh, it was so good. It was so good. S tier, dad. True. One day the fishing cap will be an option. I won't even need to specify which hat I want you to wear when I redeem it. Yeah. We'll get there one day, Ace. Don't worry. I love that hat. We 
showed it to Mr. Bandit the other night. And he got quite the kick out of it, too. The fishing hat with the long ass brim. Fish fear me. <laughs> I am empty, yet I fish. <laughs> The internet is such a wonderful place sometimes. This isn't the one you come in on, right? No, this is different. 25, 25 centimeter broom to be exact. You were correct, yeah. It's like the best thing, <laughs> the best thing I've seen on stream in such a long time. That fishing hat was just too good, Ace. It was just too good. Hylian seeks to attempt the Korok trial? Is that even allowed? Who cares? Are you here to attempt my Korok trial? Of course. Let me tell you about the trial. All you need to do is keep going and not get lost in the mist. Easy, right? What's wrong? You don't look very excited. Don't worry. I've got a cryptic little hint for you. The hungry trees will show you the way. Spy their iron and win the day. Did I make that sound cool? Think about that as you take on the trial. I got it. Let's see. There it is. I can't wait till the day I do have the fishing at a fishing hat ace. It's gonna be the best. but I certainly don't care. There we go. Um, let's see, what does this say? Feed me the age shield guarded by monsters eternal. My brother will repay you in kind. Whatever you say. Ace wants violence though. <laughs> trout. I'm gonna go fishing real quick. <laughs> I can't believe that worked! I thought that was too- Whoa! Who are you? Oh, Staminoka Bass. Okay. Yeah! More fish! We f <laughs> I am empty, yet I fish. Damn it, I thought I could get a bird. Are there more fish? It doesn't look like it. Oh shit, what's next? 
please place my chest in my mouth. The shield eater's brother stole it from me. Does that count as fishing and violence all in one? I think so. I personally, I do. I guess it doesn't really matter what I think though, huh? <laughs> It's the only way to fish. Here we go. I don't know why I thought that would work. <laughs> uh I right, probably dropped that shit. Oh shit, yeah, I need to re-equip everything. Here we go. What the fuck? So anyway, I kind of talked about it. We will be doing a lot of uh, shrine hunting. Since the new game comes out, like it's gonna be out before we know it. It's just a little less than a month. I figured we should, or at least I'm going to devote my time to Breath of the Wild for a little while, just so I can get, you know, I want to at least get all the shrines, try to get as many of the uh, armor sets as I possibly can, and at least defeat Ganon and, like, beat the end of the game before we get to Tears of the Kingdom, because as soon as that shit comes out, baby, that is all I'm going to be playing for a little while. I've been waiting for that game for years, so... <laughs> So it's going to be some Zelda content for a while, and I am more than okay with that. I've been missing this game. So I hope you're all okay with that. DLC too. I almost forgot about that. If we have time for it, that is before the game comes out. How are you? I asked everybody else. But I don't think you actually said how you were. I think you just said you wanted violence. And then made me wear the hat. Seven days? Fuck. Let me look. There is going to be at least a Monday. So Friday the 28th. I don't have to work. So I can stream all day. And then I have also have Monday the 1st of next month off as well. 
as well as the 8th. So there's going to be a few days where I'm going to be able to do like all day streaming like I used to do. There might be a Sunday, you know, sprinkled in there too where I can also just, you know, come home from what it, what I do on Sundays. Come in here and get get a stream going, stream for 8 fucking hours, get the shit going. Like I it's possible. Am I going to do it? I my bet would be I probably won't make it. But it's possible. I could definitely try. I just won't get a whole lot done this weekend because I have to work tomorrow till 4.30. And then I come home, I gotta do a few things, and then uh, I'm off Sunday, but I have to work again on Monday. Which is unfortunate, but... Let's see, let's see. There's a Korok that's standing around here somewhere going, Oh my god, my friend, I am worried. Um... They're probably- okay, they're probably out here and I just missed them. The little guy's up there, isn't he? So there's another Korok around here somewhere. Jeepers! I was just about to ask where you were and if you've gone to bed yet. I was just about to be like, where's Jeeps? You're Mr. Hero, right? You're gonna do the Korok trial. Yes, I am. I didn't see the go live notification because I was watching a movie with hubs. That's fine. What movie were you watching? I'd like to ask a favor of you then. My little Oki just now set off to do the Korok trial. Normally I'd go alone too, but Oki insisted on go- uh, Go along too, but Oki insisted on going alone. I let Oki go, but well, I'm just getting worried. Could you please follow Oki without being seen? I want to be sure nothing bad happens. You got it, dude. Beep beep, it's the jeep. Bestie, I've missed you, how are you? Goodness, it's been forever since I last spoke, talked to you, saw you, however long ago it was. The land before time, it's still playing, but I'm after you're about to shower and get into bed. You, you guys are coming with me. Ooh! Nothing, bestie. You're fine. That's me. No, 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 no. I'm right here, right here, I'm right here. It's fine. forest tried to consume me. Shit. I remember this tree. I remember these nuts. <laughs> oh wait, I should change my outfit so I'm sneaky, huh? Do I have the sneaky outfit? have a sneaky outfit, not the sneaky outfit. And I'm scary, look at me. Jeeps, how was your day, bestie? This is the way. Oh, it was a day. Not much to report. Not feeling great today, but I'll be okay. Oh, bestie, what? Is it your stomach or? 
Coming down with a cold, maybe? How was yours? It was okay. I mean, like, the first half of the day, I was really vibing. I was in a good fucking mood. The second half of the day was okay. Like, there was some stuff that happened at work. Not necessarily because of me. It was some. It, it was something else that had happened that kind of just caused a little tension in the office. Uh, thankfully, by the end of the day, it went okay, but... It was like a, a slow and busy day all at the same time. Like, when we had clients come in, there were many that came in at the same time. But then there'd be lulls for a few hours where nobody would come in and it was quiet, so... Pretty flowers! Halfway there! But aside from that, it was fine. I came home. I saw Mr. Bandit for a little bit. I got a little... I don't know about y'all, but is anybody else's TikTok feeds, like, just... full of Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil 4? Because mine is. And I haven't even played Resident Evil 4 yet. We haven't even- go we meant to get the game last week, but we ended up, uh, pre you can pre-order the, uh, Legend of Zelda Switch console through GameStop. And so that's what we were doing. We ended up doing that instead of getting the game, and... shit here, bro. No! Damn it. Fuck. Anyway, TikTok's full of Leon Kennedy, and this one was one of those AI ones. It's one of those AI ones where the voice sounds just like it, but, like, it's saying some shit, and... Whoa! Whoo! I needed a bonk. <laughs> but Mr. Bandit's been giving me shit for it. He sends me TikToks with that intentionally. Because he thinks it's really funny to watch me get flustered. Don't you, honey? Yep. Leon Kennedy is just a specimen. <laughs> I can't wait for Tears of the Kingdom. Oh my god. No, I am so excited. It's not even funny. Especially now that Ganondorf is hot. No, I am excited for the game aside from attractive Ganondorf. Like, that's just a perk. The game itself looks amazing. I am so incredibly excited to be able to play this after all this time and and there's new characters and old characters and and it looks like some old bosses as well. I think Gliok is one of them. The little uh the three-headed dragon thing. And I think there's also supposed to be Redeads. There were Redeads in one previous trailer that we saw and I'm just Oh boy, I'm so excited! I'm so pumped, it's gonna be so cool! And you bet your ass, the moment I get that game will be a Thursday night, I'm pretty sure. And we'll be playing it on stream the next day, baby. I will be play I will be here, we'll be playing it, I'm so excited. Hell yeah, Tears of the Kingdom stream. Baby, I will be here. Hyped the fuck up. Dressed to the nines in my Legend of Zelda stuff. What's that meme? The guy in his pajamas and it's like something else, you know, like my my sister's funeral. Or not funeral, uh, wedding. And then it's Tears of the Kingdom, like, release day and it's them in a suit. Like, <laughs> it's me, baby. Me normally. A bum. Me when Tears of the Kingdom releases. 
I'll show up in my wedding dress. I will fucking, I'll do it. I won't do it. But it would be funny. It's hard to see me up here. No ghost, it's just me. You had some Cadbury mini eggs? Whoa. I haven't had some of those in a well, I mean, I can't have them anymore, but I haven't had them in a while. <laughs> no memory of Easter's long since past. This isn't so bad. Oh man, the wolves are coming out soon though. Come on! Walk faster with your stubby little legs! for a while with your shower time but we both know how quick that goes yep we'll see you when you get back the shrine look at his little run stop that's so cute look at his little whoa I made it oh good for you This is the last one in the forest, right? Sorry if I'm a little quiet. <laughs> Thank you. 
trying to eat my dinner. <laughs> There was one around the back. In there. High flow ruins. I see. And then in this ravine, actually, at the end of it is where you find the quote-unquote final shrine where you get the, um, the armor of the wild. But there are already two I can think of, two shrines I can think of now. Maybe even three, actually. Because there, I think there's one out here. There is one in here, and then there's one in there. So let's go get them, baby. There's one right up there. There's one over there. How many shrines do I have? That is a great question. Is there a way to find that out? That's a good question. I don't know. The next load screen I have, will, I think we'll be able to tell. Tama Panda, hi! I know you're lurking, but hi, hello, nice to see you. I hope you're having a good evening. I know you do, hon. We're watching Bob's Burgers in the background. Mr. Bandit says he loves this show. Did I not kill the moose? I thought I killed it. I guess not. I thought I had that moose. Let's go ahead and do this shrine. And then we'll go get the other ones that I mentioned slash we saw on the way down. How many shrines do I have? Not enough. <laughs> Panda, I hope you had a wonderful day and that you're going to have a nice weekend. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Jeeps is back. <laughs> hydrate or dehydrate by Jeepers. Let's hydrate up in this bitch. <sighs> I 
hydrated, baby. Let's see. Oh shit, that's right. <laughs> Oops. Okay, wait. If that'll solve my problem but I don't think so I, I'm pretty sure that's not how you solve the puzzle but we're gonna try it anyway and see how it goes excuse me that is my chicken sandwich you back off mister dogs go baby never mind it worked there we go baby my resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks the promise of a hero good job bandit thank you or thank you why am i like this ah! i'm so cringe i can't help it like you wear the hat and you're immediately like ma'am Oh, I almost flicked it. Oh, that would have been bad. I actually bruised my middle finger underneath my fake nail today. Um, and I, I was gonna flick it, but I immediately put pressure and was like, oh. So, never mind what I was about to do. <laughs> All right, let's get a horse. So I need a horse. Get Epona. Oh yeah, because we got Epona the last time. I forgot about that. I was just doing. I um. <laughs> it was the, the. I was using the wrong card to try to get Epona, and then the first time that I pulled the correct card, because I was just pulling a bunch of them to see what would happen, and then I got Epona. It's the worst. Yeah, because I bruised this middle finger yesterday. And then I bruised this one today. How's your nail feeling now? Uh, putting pressure on it hurts quite a bit. But it, nothing broke. So that's the, the thing that I'm like thankful for when it comes to the fake nails. Is that I have a tendency normally to break my nails all the time. They're really flimsy. They're not very sturdy. <laughs> like They break frequently. And having these... Um, while like the drawback is that I bruise the underside of my nail... I, they don't fall or break or crack or, or you know, whatever it is, is anymore, or at least as easily. I haven't torn one off, and thank God, because had this one torn off when I bruised it today, I would have been screaming. Because <laughs> my, my husband says that I open my car door like a GTA character. And so I went to go open it today and kind of like pulled back, you know, but the car was locked. I've forgotten to unlock it and my nail got caught on it as I was pulling and oh, I heard like a motherfucker. The nails are brittle as hell. I feel that so hard. Part of the reason I love fakes. Yeah. Well, I didn't do fakes because the last time I got them done when the nail tech removed them, she was like, you're not, you can't get these anymore <laughs> because I had like these pits in my nails by the time she was done. The biggest reason they prevent me from picking at my lip like a cone of shame. They are like, you can't, 
the thing I keep saying is that they're like not functional, they're just pretty. Because I can't pick at things to get things off anymore, whereas beforehand I could. There are some things I just can't grasp because they're they're not easy for grasping. They're like a claw <laughs> in a prize machine. Can't hold shit. <laughs> But I love them, and I think next weekend, um, either Saturday or Sunday, probably more likely Sunday, I think Saturday is kind of jam-packed already, um, I think Glow and I are going to go and get our nails redone, and I'm going to do blue this time. I'll probably do another, like, I love the thick, um, like, French tips on the end, or like the thick curved tips on the end. I think it looks much prettier than just a regular French tip. So I'm going to do blue. Probably blue and white, I think. Blue is my favorite color. To get yours redone next week, you're super- yeah. Well, because she was like, we'll do it once a month. And I'm like looking at them and I'm like, we got these done on like the 25th or whatever. And my nails grow out very quickly. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, my nails are growing out pretty fast. Uh, on top of that, like, bits of the nail polish now are starting to like get pits in them or, you know... Um, tiny little chips taken out because I'm hard on my nails. They have been very durable despite the fact that I am, have a tendency to break them and I'm not very easy on them. So fakes are, I think they're good. Plus, I feel really bougie when I have them. Like I'll be driving and I'll just put my hands up so I can see my nails because I just feel like... I just feel very extra. I normally have to get mine done every two weeks, three at max. Yeah, I, I'd say three is probably, probably for me, because they're they're growing out. My nails and my hair tend to, to grow pretty quickly. I'm ready, actually. I've been trying, like, debating on keeping my hair long uh, or cutting it short, because we have our wedding in July, and I am still kind of up in the air on how I want my hair. So I've been like, oh, I'm not going to chop it like I have been doing because, I, you know, if I want to have long hair, I want to be able to have long hair. And I've thought about it and I'm like, fuck it. If I want long hair, I'm getting extensions. Like, I I know my hair doesn't look that long sitting right here. But I normally, when, like, spring and summer starts to come, I chop it up to about here. So I take off uh, to just above shoulder length. So just about, like, right here. And I'm, I'm so ready to do it again. <laughs> I won't be able to put my hair in ponytails. But. Oh, it's. I was looking at it in the mirror today and I'm like, it needs to get cut. It's time. The short look was such a vibe. Like, the long hair used to be a huge vibe for me. Like, I... Long hair was how I did things. But... After I chopped it that one time, I've been like, you know what? <laughs> it's a fucking hairstyle for me, dude. I need this... All the way up here. So healthy that my hairdresser refuses to cut it. Really? No! Fuck, I'm an idiot! Shit. The trim, she doesn't want to cut it. I just had this- I don't even know what it was. I was like, I- I've had the same- My thing is that I'd had like the same haircut since high school. And I was like, I need a change. I need something different. I can't keep doing the same haircut from high school. 
I'm not even the same person I was in high school. Like, it's... It's, it's gotta change, baby. Like... doing it was a great idea it is a little weird for a while because I can't like even put it in like a small ponytail because uh, it's usually too short but I think I want to do it a little shorter and I want to try to add layers back into my hair again I used to but I've been trying to get them all to cut it like one one length and it just looks kind of bland without the layers in it so I need them again about the same length in California and it was great especially in the summer which is what I told her she could do if she wanted she did not want it oh <laughs> boo I wanted We got 34 spirit orbs. I'm gonna have so many by the end of this. down this way. I'm going to be getting straight across bangs with face framing pieces next time, I think. I can't do bangs anymore because it makes me look like I'm 16. Which, like, ooh, like 10 years younger. Uh, but not like a minor. My husband is in his 30s. I don't need it looking illegal. I'm at an age right now where I don't appreciate being carded at the bar, thanks. Although, I don't get carded anymore, which, like, is fine with me. I'm like, thank God, I finally look my age. <laughs> I think what I want to do... The hairstyle I'd love to try, but I am just not sure how it'd look on me is called the butterfly cut. Let me see if we can find it. Ooh! Hello! Sorry, I just found a nail style that I'm in love with and would love to do. Ooh! Okay, that's not what I was on here for. Oh my god. I appreciate when they card me. I just... I think my thing is, is I'm very used to people not taking me seriously because of my age, especially when I was a teenager. No, no one takes a teenager seriously, right? But it just bothered me to no end that they like assumed I didn't know anything because I was younger. could do this short. Uh, I just want to cut it short again. <laughs> Maybe that's what I want. It's just curtain bangs. I miss those. Let's see, short butterfly haircut. Oh yeah, it's possible. It's kind of like that, if it shows up. Can't believe I'm turning 30 this year insane. I have curtain bangs now, yeah. I don't know that it's something that would look nice on me, per se. Uh, but I'd like to try it at least.
because like I want to give a little volume to like my hair tends to it used to be this big poofy ridiculous unmanageable like beautiful mess like I had just these deep waves my hair was always just voluminous and I cut it short and now that it's growing like it's been growing back out again I cannot replicate that at all um, and it drives me nuts because I loved it but thought you know again thought it was time for a change but when my hair now tends to fall like parted in the middle um naturally on its own because i have a cowlick on both sides <laughs> so i thought with like curtain bangs or something like that or that butterfly cut it'd be nice because even if it's still split here in the middle it will have like the waves that start up here will start up here and kind of frame my face a little bit even if you don't like it you can change it soon i'd say go for it yeah i'm just thinking about it <sighs> I just have to consider also like what kind of haircut I've been wanting for my wedding as well. So I have to be careful about how I decide to cut my hair for that reason as well. Shisa, how do I get in there again? It's from the top. Pretty sure. Bestie thinking I literally won't try to jump straight through the goo just to get to the side I want to get to. I will, bitch. I'll do it. Anyway. There's my spiel on the haircut. I really want a new one. I, we just gotta wait until next week, probably. Next week. New hair, new nails. Who dis? <laughs> Is he white because he's white or is he white because he's ice and I should pull out a... I don't have any. I have bomb arrows. That's the closest I got. But unfortunately, that is a bad idea. We're in closed quarters. If I use a bomb arrow, I'd be fucked. There we go. Got him! Thank you! Thanks, bestie! My bow broke. Let's use that one. Oh, damn, bro, I got him. I need a different sword. Let's go. Hello. You know, it's a person I never talk to, but the person I should consult about my hair is my mother. She she used to be the one who like exclusively cut my hair for the longest time. At least when I was younger, when she moved, obviously that changed and it was super cuts, but Ow! You bitch! Might as well break it. Thanks, Herbosa! Thanks, bestie! Actually, I should steal his weapon. No, I can't! Got him. Got him, besties. Alright, um... Okay. <laughs> 
Ooh, an edge of duality. Those are great, though. Wait. Just drop this shit. I don't need it anymore. Okay, there is <laughs> besties that you down here. He gets down there. Actually, no, I'll know. I think it'll have a the tunnel will have some. Working that motherfucking system, baby! Yes! <laughs> I found it! If I get my hair cut, Jeeps, don't worry, you'll probably be one of the first people to see it. I'm gonna message you and be like, Bestie, look what I did. I fucked up. It's gonna be me looking like Lord Farquaad or some shit. Not Laura Farquaad. <laughs> See, so the first time I got my hair cut that short, the lady was like, she had straightened it out, and she was like showing it to me in the mirror, and I, she w w like looked kind of off a little bit, like she wasn't super happy with it, and I was like, wait. And I took my hand, and I run it through it, and I just pulled it over to the side a little bit, and she was like, oh, so pretty, and I'm like, yeah, aren't you glad I don't just sit it on the center? Cause like it just looked flat and I looked like a blonde Lord Farquaad. It was hilarious, but also I was like, oh my god, no. But then there like one of my favorite selfies I've ever taken has been when my hair was short like that and I had straightened it and I had these like really pretty moon earrings in and I was just feeling myself and the sun was coming through the bathroom window and I just I felt ethereal for a moment. So I managed to make the center part straight, straight and short hair work for me one time, so we're good. I'm like, it doesn't sit like that the whole time, so don't worry, I've got it. <sighs> Fucking who am I? I'm like listening to myself talk and I'm like... I'm glad you thought that was funny either way, Chiefs. Okay. Now to go find more shrines. Hello. Oh, it's over there. I'm just dumb. I'm fading so fast. If I disappear, I'm sleep. Just go to sleep, bestie. I'll be here again tomorrow night. I'll be streaming around 5-ish or so my time, so... 
5-ish. I say that because I do have to work tomorrow, and it's ambiguous whether or not I'm off at 4 or 4.30 at the moment, so... <laughs> It is all dependent on when I can get out of get out of work. But I'm also streaming Sunday, and you already know, I've already been telling you we're doing Breath of the Wild streams until the, I finish this game, so don't you worry. You've been half dozing here too? Yeah. Go to sleep, you guys. I'm gonna get to the two hour mark and call it because I do have to get to bed for work tomorrow. But I'll be back. You'll see me again, don't worry. Or worry. <laughs> worry about it. Get your nose down, I see you. This is mom's sandwich, back off. He's out of range for you guys to see, but he's over here, nose up on the desk, trying to get his nose in the box with my chicken sandwich still in it. Here. Now where's the shrine I saw on the way down? I'm gonna find it. It's up here, besties. It's calling to me. I know it is. Must have dozed off too, because he's been he's been quiet for the last little bit. I hope you're okay, Ace, wherever you are. There we go. Have any fire arrows?
did this not burn? Oh, there we go. Is there anything? No. Also no. And I can't get in there anyway. I work tomorrow morning myself. Yeah. Oh, you just recently changed to opening on Saturdays and it kind of blows. Not kinda, it blows. I like having my Saturdays off. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. I know it said something was badly damaged. I don't know what it was. Woo! Probably the guardian sword. Yep. Come on, come on. Fuck, dude. I just got this thing. Oh, this is annoying. Guess I'll take your guardian sphere. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Are you shitting me? I just got that thing! Oh my god, I'm gonna use all my fucking weapons. There we go, come on. Just die already! Oh my gosh. Probably the smart thing to do. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Okay, there we go. Onward and upward to the shrine, baby. Is that it? I hope that was it. Yes. to follow her while I was streaming. No! Well, 
I hope you're okay, whoever you are. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And that you find a streaming place where you feel happy, welcome, and entertained. I wish you well. But ow, my ego. <laughs> Who do we lose? Boo to Shin? I don't know. I just looked up, I noticed we're at 114 now instead of 115, so I know we lost somebody along the way. It's okay. It may have been an accident. Maybe. I it's fine either way. Ah, oh, you bitch, you threw off my groove. I'm sorry, but you threw off the Emperor's groove. Sorry. I am vibing coming down this hill though. I realize they don't have you and find <laughs> have to find you again. I mean, if that was genuinely the case, then yeah. It's fine. Sometimes it happens. And I mean, like, what, what's the thing my husband and I have said before is that, like, I'm not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, right? Maybe they come for a certain type of content and I stop doing it after a while. Kind of like Skyrim. You know, a lot of the people that, uh, a lot of the followers that I do have here came here specifically for Skyrim. And so when I played other games, you know, they were just waiting for me to do a Skyrim stream, but I'm slowly kind of trying to phase Skyrim out a little bit. I'm Skyrimmed out. I feel like I've done as much as I, I want to do with that game right now. Aside from Mary Serana, but I've been having issues getting mods downloaded for Skyrim, so I've kind of put that on pause. But I digress. Like, you know, they're... I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea because they came here for Skyrim and I no longer play that. And that is what it is. Or some people came here for Breath of the Wild because they did this pretty frequently and then all of a sudden Skyrim. <laughs> so... It is what it is. I mean, sometimes it's hard, right? Because I'm a people pleaser. I want everybody to like me, but not everybody is going to like me. And that's just another lesson you learn in streaming. Which I I'm sure you already know, Unicorn. I don't even have to tell you. I think I'm more just trying to voice my own thoughts. There we go. What's in the chest? Finally! Get some regular arrows. Okay. Let's keep going. There was something I was looking for. can't make everyone happy. No. And that's something I'm learning. Not everybody's gonna enjoy what I do, and that's okay. And there are moments like this stream where I've kind of had a lot of quiet moments, and it is... I should come with topics already ready for quiet moments, you know, so that way I can be a little bit of a chatterbox in the middle there. But... I'm not super good at pre-planning stuff like that. I'm not good at small talk, I think is what it is not much of a small talk person. I'm very much of a big talk, lots of talk person. <laughs> Let's see. Who's shoving all of these snowballs down the hill is what I want to know. What yeti is up there like, fuck this snowball in particular and just yeeting it down the hill. 
Ooh. Hello, there's an updraft. There we go, there we go, there we go! To the top, baby! There's a guy up here. <laughs> hey, there's something. I speak English. I speak good English, too. I talk good. Am I on the right peak? To see the... Yeah, Hebrew peak to be able to see the bird. up in that, this region. Fuck! Don't be a star bird. Well, we'll figure it out later. Unless I already got that one, but I I'm pretty sure I did not. No, because I think you have to climb to the top of that tree, don't I? And then I'm gonna shred the gnar down these motherfucking mountains, dude. We are going to shred it! <laughs> That's one way to take care of my problems, I guess. Sorry. Shot a gnaw, like shred the gnaw. <laughs> shred the gnaw. Oh god, I'm <laughs> too California for this shit. I apologize to those of you who had to hear that cringy joke. <laughs> but a. <hey. laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Trial. We're doing this shit again, right? I think. Um. You move. Path. Where are you supposed to go? Both of you. It looks almost like it's gonna be a straight shot across. But 
timing is everything in this game, so maybe... That's one way to do it, I guess. I don't know. No, because it's gonna overshoot. Isn't it? Well, we'll find out. We go. Come on, come on, come on! No! So close, god damn it. Oh, fuck. Okay. Alrighty. Let's try this again. That was wrong timing. Fuck. Damn it. Okay. Let's try this again. Try to get the frickin' timing on this right. It's possible. I know it is. I have a song from Moulin Rouge stuck in my head. You know how long it's been since I've seen fucking Moulin Rouge? Long enough. <laughs> but I've seen this song used in a Star Wars like TikTok like fan cam of Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker. And it's ama- it's such a good fan cam. But oh my god, I can't get the song stuck out of my head. Like, fucking out of my head. Come here. Nope, that's right, I need to... I wonder if I could chuck it over, wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> that obviously didn't do it. I'm still gonna try it, though. Fuck. It's just short. Just shy of where I need it. The t no, why? Okay, okay. Please, 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 please. No, 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 no. Why?
driving me bonkers because I'm like sure I have the timing right, but it's just not right. Oh fuck the you I'm fine. We are totally okay. Just fine. Just just fine. I'm fine? Thank you. So are you? Being married is fun. What? You have to watch the deck moving and time it just right. That's what I'm trying to do, but I... I... I think now is probably a good time. Oh my god! No! <laughs> No! I had it! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Dang it! It won't fit up here, will it? Oh, of course it fucking will. I hate this. <laughs> Okay, okay. Hold on. Yes! No! What? Are you shitting me? No, good kid, the fuck. <laughs> Thank you, I figured it out. <laughs> no, this isn't fair. Are you sh Why didn't I? Why? Why didn't I? I should know this. I played this game so... Okay, let's try this again. Yes! <laughs> oh, that took me way too long. This is what I mean when I say I'm really bad at puzzles. Thank you for the helpful hint. so much. Oh, yeah, that too. My husband says I'm incredibly cringe. He right. He ain't wrong. But I did it. said something but that was more entertaining <laughs> it was more fun to watch me suffer and struggle than actually help me figure it out <laughs> that's fair that's valid Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the middle of nowhere. Population us. Hey, wait a second. You hiked all this way to meet the best there ever was at shield surfing, right? Sure. Knew it. Too bad for you that I'm retired, huh? It's been years since anyone knew me as the Duchess of Downhill. But if you don't mind a few pointers from a husband, I'd be happy to critique your technique. Yes. Such enthusiasm. I haven't seen anyone with passion like that since, well, me. But I'm not just any surfer come lately. I was the best. 
And that means my advice isn't free. <laughs> so how does 20 rupees? So that's, that's fine. Just take my money. Where your mouth is. How serious are you really? Then let's get straight to the slopes. We will. You start by surfing all the way down there. It's a pretty no frills course, but it'll help me get a beat on where you are with your technique. If I dig the way you surf, I'll let you advance to the next step, but we can go down that hill when we get to it. I want to see you shred out there. Are you ready? <laughs> Keep going, keep going, keep going. And time, I'll wait. Okay. fun I guess. I don't know why I thought that would lead to something more like a shrine or some shit. I should have remembered that's not what this is. <laughs> a lot of fun in this game actually. It's so much fun. came from. Gotta be quicker than that to catch me, boy! Be quicker than that to catch me, boy! Another ten minutes to spare. Or ten minutes to go. Calling it early, is that what you said, huh? 
Oh, yeah, no. I started a little late, so... go here because there is a shrine quest you gotta find all the kiddos and make some music one kid really wants salmon manuri remember that much. Cool. Do I have the other quest though? recital. Go and find her eldest sister Knott, second eldest sister Kotz, and third eldest, eldest sister Genli. And Kree. Tell them where to find Kiel. I will. We're gonna sleep first. That's Molly. That's not. I'm exhausted. Oh, let's all go to sleep then. And then I will come talk to all of you tomorrow. <laughs> Fuck. I'm going to get a few hearts first. getting hearts. Actually... Let's just span this stamina wheel, baby! No! No, 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 I wasn't done yet. Get back here. Fill that wheel. Fill that wheel. <laughs> keep doing it where would the stone monument go it was running away <laughs> did I do a heart vessel fuck one more oh no 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 I didn't okay one more of the stamina wheel and then some hearts Okay, we'll do one more heart container, one more stamina vessel, and then we'll call it.
There we go. One more stamina vessel. Then we're gonna take a nap. Ouch, fuck. It's one of the middle fingers I hurt. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. I will bring peace to these nuts. Open beds here. Don't mind if I yes. I'd like one. Let's do a Rito down bed. Why wouldn't I, baby? Till morning, please. extra hearts and a whole ass stamina wheel. Shit. Um, let's see. Where are these children? No, I already have that full fit. Don't you see me? I am dripped the fuck out. I think this is their home. Is they're all supposed to be... Oh, that's cute. They're little nests. Um, yeah, one really wants Sam and Minuri, I know that much. Not until you're like, get my Sam and Minuri! Slippery Falcon? Ooh, where the fuck is that, bitch? Oh, that might be the... That be the, the fucking this thing. Slippery Falcon, baby. There's one of them. Goat butter. Awesome. And then the other one is fishing for salmon. The other one is singing up somewhere high. Let's start with the easy one first. Rehearsal. I totally forgot. I was too focused on catching these fish. Please take this hearty salmon and go make some salmon minori for Genli. Hopefully she'll feel like singing after she's had some. I don't remember how to make salmon minori. <laughs> so I'm gonna look it up. Let's see. Entertainment. Breath of the Wild Compendium. Recipe. Salmon to bantha wheat and gold butter. Do I have to bantha wheat? I have Hylian rice. I do have to bantha wheat. Let's go make some salmon minori. Fifty-eight. Okay, so we got two minutes left. So let's make the salmon minori, and then we can get the last sister. They sell it at the shop if you don't. Thankfully, I do. I have two, but it counts for something. Okay, where's the kid who wants the salmon? She's up here somewhere. There we go. So it's salmon, goat's butter, which should be. Oh wait, no, Tabantha wheat and then goat's butter. Nice. 
nice. Could it be? Yes, it is. Enjoy. No, it's all mine. I love that. Promise to my sisters? I suppose I shouldn't break my promise. I really do like singing, but I am too nervous to sing in front of other people. I have serious stage fright, but maybe practicing with my sisters will help me feel more comfortable. Thank you for the amazing salmon minari. It was soft and flaky and delicious. Okay, so the last sister is up singing somewhere up high. And I can't remember if she's the one singing about... Is it the birdie they said? The the snow bird? Giant snow bird? Over there, it was like a small little perch. Not her, but... Baked apple! Do I have any of those? Have I made some of those and not eaten them yet? I probably would have eaten them, actually. Yeah. Okay, up somewhere high. Where would she be singing? Is it up there? Is it up here? I can't even get all the way up there anymore. Oh no, she's like... I seem to recall she is not all the way up, but she is pretty significantly high up. She's, she's up here. There we go! I call that song Return of the Bird Wrangling Hero, first movement. Thank you for listening. Sing, singing rehearsal of Warbler's Nest. I didn't forget you did. It's okay. It's just that Genley really wanted some salmon minari, so my sisters and I have been looking for ingredients. I had finished early, so I was practicing here to kill time. I feel bad we left Kiel waiting, though. I really should head over to rehearsal. You already treated Genley to some salmon minari? Wow, you're amazing. I'm gonna go meet with everyone. See you around. So at least get over there. So that way next time, since we are past that two hour mark, tomorrow we can go ahead and do this shrine quest and we'll continue our ever growing quest to, to seek all the shrines. And we'll figure out how many I have next time too. Let's keep going. Save, save, and we'll return to the title screen. 57 shrines, monk, so far, and I think there's 120, so I still have quite a bit to go. Gotten quite a bit, but I still have quite a bit to go. But anyway, as always, thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a wonderful time. I know it was a bit of a shorter stream and it was late and I am sorry, but thank you so much for joining me regardless. We will be back again tomorrow evening. We are going to be playing some more Breath of the Wild. So if you're going to be coming around, just expect that it's going to be Breath of the Wild content for a little while until we get Tears of the Kingdom. I'm excited. I want to do as much as possible. Like Monk said, we have something like 24 to 28 days to get all of this done. So I'm going to get this done, baby. We're going to do it all. Or at least we're going to get as close as we can. But 
If you like what you saw here and you are not already, please consider following the channel. We love to have new people here. It's an ever-growing community and we're all, uh, it's an, a bunch of amazing people. They're all lovely and, and they're funny and they're wonderful and I, I enjoy having them here and you'd enjoy having them here with you. Um, if you want to see me up to shenanigans and other places, you can find me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, um, and YouTube, all under the same handle. It's the same here on Twitch, bandit underscore gaming 97. Uh, YouTube is where I put any of the previous VODs, so if there's something that I've done that you really want to see, um, that is where you'll go. Oh my goodness, there's something in my eye. Oh, of course there is. Have a great night. You have a great night too, Monk. But again, I say this at the end of every stream, and I will continue to do so until I no longer stream. You are wonderful, you are amazing, you are loved, and you are deserving of good things. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your evening. I will see you all again tomorrow with some more Breath of the Wild. Until then, bye bye